<clears throat> hey guys, uh, my name is Philip Flores, and uh, real quick, I just wanted to kind of rant and kind of just vlog sort of about what has happened to me recently <laughs> on YouTube. It's kind of a big deal to me. So just recently, the last like five videos I've made are about this new camera that I bought and I've been testing out. And the reason I'm making these videos isn't just, you know, for my own wants and needs, you know, to test it out in like this environment, which is mostly how I'm gonna be using it. But it's also to like help you guys out who are researching the camera and are interested in buying it. Recently, actually the last video I made was about the 4K image quality that the camera produces, which by the way is just great. It's just great all around. The video is actually specific to my studio here in my garage because that's mostly how I'm going to use the camera. But in this last video, what I did was I offered up this challenge for the viewers to look and determine if they could figure out the difference in this specific scenario between a really cheap lens, actually this lens right here. This is the um, Nikon uh, 18 to 55 AFP 35 to 56 lens. It's a hundred dollars and it's refurbished and comparing the image quality uh, in the same exact environment to to this guy, which this lens is a uh, 24 to 70 f2.8 EED. They're both they're both really good lenses. There were a lot of things that I just didn't say in that last video that I should have said probably like for instance, you know, there are a lot of good reasons to spend a lot of money on glass, on lenses, when you're getting into photography and videography. But I, I think that I wanna just reiterate, I wanna take the opportunity to reiterate that the purpose of the video was to show you guys that if you were trying to stick to a budget, but you're really interested in this camera, which goes for like 2000 bucks or $1,900 or something like that, that you could actually get away with using it with a cheaper lens if you needed to keep that down to, you know, two grand or whatnot, or $2,100 in this case, that you could then, you know, whatever, save up money and buy a lens later in life um, if you're really excited to go ahead and grab the camera. And besides that, I thought it was fun to compare the 4K image from a cropped uh, perspective from a DX or APS-C crop, which the camera does automatically if it detects the, uh, the DX lens on it, to a full frame 4K image. Um, again, in this controlled environment, because this is how I'm mostly going to use the camera, so it was partially for my own interests and research. But, you know, those comparison uh, videos are always fun for me. I love when I'm completely wrong and I'm like, oh yeah, that's the, uh, that's the new iPhone image. And it's like, I don't know, the, the Mate 20 Huawei. <laughs> so anyway, I had a lot of fun making that video, but there were things that I regretted not saying or explaining. And I want to tell you guys that the last five videos I've made about the Nikon Z6, they're unscripted, right? They're, these are just raw kind of experiments that I think would be interesting to see. So I apologize for that, but don't hate me for it. I'm having a lot of fun with the camera and I'm doing the best I can to just off the cuff make some reviews and show you guys the camera and um, explain what I like about it, what it's lacking, what I'm wishing it had, or I don't know, you know, features that I, that I really appreciate using. It's been really fun. So on one side, I want to tell you guys I really, really appreciate the support. The reason that I'm calling this video kind of a rant vlog is because in that video, which was like my 83rd public video, that was like the first video I'd ever gotten any kind of negative comments in, in, in the uh, comment thread. And so, you know, I was just kind of taken back, you know, it's never happened to me before. It's totally going to happen in the future and I need to get used to it and I need to move on. But you know, I wanted you guys to know that your comments mean a lot to me. And with only like 270 subscribers, I'm going to make time to actually have a conversation with you and try to comment back and reply to your questions and your concerns and your thoughts in, in the comments. But at the same time, if somebody attacks me personally, if it's not like a constructive criticism or feedback in, you know, the, the video regard in any kind of respect, for the video, 
then I'm just gonna ignore it. I'm gonna probably thank you for commenting and watching, and then I'm gonna move on because you know what? Even the naysayers, their comments, I think technically help the uh, YouTube algorithm to my benefit, I think. So anyway, I'm just gonna move on past that because I'm one of those people that already, you know, I already have enough confidence issues as is. So I just wanted you guys to know, this is kind of where I'm coming from. The world is kind of a sad place in time. You know, I don't understand why we feel like we need to be mean to each other sometimes, but we do, you know, and I think that I just need to accept that and move on. And so that's what I'm doing. And part of the reason that I'm able to do that so well in this instance is because I'm a part of this really incredible group on Facebook, I think is where it was kind of started, I can't remember. Cody Warner founded this group and it's called the No Small Creator Group. If you go onto Facebook and you search hashtag No Small Creator, you'll find it. And anyway, it's just a, you know, 3,000 people um, as a community just uh, collaborating and asking each other questions, trying to find answers and just helping each other. Um, most of them are YouTubers, but in general, we're just all creators. Some of us write books, some of us review notepads, you know, some of us have tens of thousands of subscribers, some of us only have like 70 or five, and it's all fair game, and we're all there to help each other out. And this group really helped me kind of push through these negative comments and kind of understand, you know, what maybe I should do with them and how I can move through it. And uh, I can't thank the group enough. Anyway, that's all I want to do. That's all I want to talk about. I've got re more reviews coming out for this camera. Um, I'm absolutely loving it. There are some things that it's lacking and some things that I struggle with, and I'll talk about that. But I'm also going to compare it to some other cameras that I've got that I think you guys might find interesting. Something where I want to stick to that kind of that budget idea. This camera right now comes in at like 2000 bucks. I've got a couple other cameras that you might be considering if you're in the Nikon brand or that Nikon world. So I wanna talk about those, I wanna compare them. And I'm excited about those videos. Um, I've got Christmas vacation coming up. I can't believe it. I love this month, I love this season, and I love you guys for watching this video. So please like, subscribe, comment down below. Again, I will definitely make an effort to uh, reply to your comments and have a conversation. I Definitely have a lot to learn, and I'm really enjoying myself on the YouTube platform. Thank you so much, guys, for all your support, and I will see you very, very soon with the next review. Peace.